what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework, Handen. Any second now. Flea-ridden <laughs> 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 hound! <laughs> Shoo! Avoiding chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm 5 at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. Ha! Ha! of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move, Krang! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr Ha Ha's. Fantastic! Careful, Den. It's infectious. <laughs> case of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of milk, spoonful of mustard, topped with a squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr <laughs> Ha-Ha's got any ideas. Seeing as it was his can of giggles that <laughs> caused the problem. Ah, 
I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. <sighs> Grass again. <sighs> we could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. <laughs> Why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them. With a sudden fright. Mr. Ha-Ha. <gasps> Problem. <gasps> can of giggles. <gasps> hiccups. Oh, dear. Did you open the can in a confined space? <gasps> There's your problem. <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle-ups. You need this special supplement. The Cano Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle-ups. <laughs> Cure number one, balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the Ha Ha Mega Jumbo Pencil. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So... We sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? nothing. Nothing. Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, how would Crank Power Up do this? Crang! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <coughs> wanted. <coughs> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. <coughs> it should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, just having a laugh. <laughs> just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups. <laughs> and you're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> well, this do for camouflage. Wow, pie face. How did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush! <laughs> Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! <laughs> 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 Pie face, what are you playing at? <gasps> it was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're <laughs> useless. <laughs> at this rate, I'll miss the <laughs> movie and I'll never get to show <laughs> Crank Power Up with special <laughs> move. Dennisy Wennessy. Our favourite little nephew. Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright. Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties. <laughs> you were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured. Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. In crunch of fists three, Mr. Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here, and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me. Right, class, 
before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. N no, wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Asher, but we're still short of a few vital parts. See my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good. But what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores. From digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp. Easy peasy. Wow. That's cool. Denbot rocks. Denbot. Rocks. That is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. What was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Pause. Finish. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Emergency! 
That's dead rot! Oh no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Den Bot! You mean a Den Walter Bot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school to school! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. What to stop it? I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry, I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get pie face and meet me there. And bring your science projects. <laughs> going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, pie face. And you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Let me down. They work! They actually work! Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. Must go to school. <gasps> oh, it's locked. There's only one way out of here. And guess what's blocking it? Your stupid robot. My robot? Your robot started it? No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete suicide. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sus. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. No, I am Walter Bot. Don't like school. Allergic to his own pet. 
We'll get Nasha back from Beano Town Kennels just as soon as we find a cure for your allergy to dogs, Dennis. OK, Dad. How about we have a pizza for a snack? You can have it in your room if you like. Ha-ha! <laughs> Result! Brilliant! Let's do this! My face! Sorry. Falling, falling. Right, men, we know why we're here. Yes, sir. Dennis, sir. Yes, uh, no, uh, what's happening, sir? I'll recap. And this time, pay attention at the back. So, Nasha was taking Nipper, his beloved pup, for a walk in the park. In an obvious case of mistaken identity, Nipper was accused of stealing sausages and hauled off to Beano Town Kennels. Nasha was devastated. Of course he was. We've got to get Nipper back. I'm ahead of you, Curly. Plan A is already in full swing. Gentlemen, I give you Operation Breakout. Mum and Dad think I'm allergic to dogs. So, Nasha has been taken to Beano Town Kennels, which is obviously a really horrible place. <laughs> Somewhere inside is poor, half-starved Nipper. Nasha will find him, of course. He'll probably go crazy when he sees how Nipper's suffering. Then, first chance he gets, he'll break out of there and bring Nipper back to us. Meanwhile, we wait for Dad to bring us treats. Better get back to your sick bed. Right. <sighs> oh. Here we are, son. All right. I, I mean, thanks, Dad. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, your rash seems to be getting worse. <coughs> Oh, must be the, uh, all the dog airs in here. You better give this place a, a bit of a clean up. <laughs> oh. This is weird. It's been ages since they took Nasha. I'd have thought he'd be back with Nipper by now. Oh, Dennis. What is it, Pie Face? Have you got an idea? Yeah. Could you get your dad to bring you a pie next time? Poor Dennis. He's really missing that show. He's not the only one. I never thought I'd say this, but I miss my slippers being half-chewed. They're more comfy that way. And with no dog to beware of, it seems like the whole of Beano Town is coming to our door. Nasha does do a good job of keeping people away. Without him, I can't get a moment's... Peace. It must be tough in that kennel if Nasha hasn't broken out yet. His teeth can gnash through anything. <gasps> I miss my dog. For the hundredth time, I do not need a musical toilet brush, nor do I need a Mexican poncho, a garden gnome for all seasons, or a patio thermometer. Oh, I miss that dog. Nasha must be trapped in the kennel, and it's all my fault. I have to get him out. But how? <sighs> it's time for Plan B. <laughs> oh, dear! I seem to have dropped my sausages. I hope there are no horrible dogs about. Uh, woof, woof, woof. Uh, etc, etc. Oi! You nasty little brute! Give me back my sausages! Oh, easy, mate! Help! Help! This dog tried to steal my sausages! Naughty dog! Naughty, naughty dog! Oh! oh my face! Alright, dog. Let's 
Let's be having you, you little troublemaker. Right? What the? Oh. Ha! Rough! Rough! Here I am, in the van. Woof! Woof! Best place for you, naughty sausage thief! Oh. Right, who did that? It was a naughty boy. A very naughty boy. Oh, it was, was it? Well, at least we've got the naughty dog. Gave himself up without a fight, I see. Obviously feeling guilty. Woof, woof. I should think so too. Right, it's the kennels for you, my lad. Everything. I ground the mints myself. <laughs> Something tells me Nasher has had enough. Dennis, Dennis, are you okay? Dennis, where? Where's it? Coming home with me. Oh, really? I think they like it here. Don't you, boy? <laughs> Come on, Nasha. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Here's a flight of your favourite num nums. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely saucy sausages. <laughs> 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 And when you've eaten your num nums, Ooh. you can put on your special cozy wozies. <laughs> That's me, dog. <laughs> My precious needlework <laughs> ruined. I'm grateful, mongrel. Uh, I'll choose a new favourite doggy. Oh. Pretended to be allergic to dogs, did you? Get your own dog hauled off to the kennels, would you? Just to get us to wait on your hand and foot, eh? Well, now it's your turn. Oh, thanks, love. Hope it's nice and strong. Oh, and don't forget that special treat for the boys. <laughs> Poor old Nasha, sent away to the kennels for no good reason. Here's some lovely sausages for you. <laughs> Help yourselves to those, eh, Nasha? And you, Nipper. <laughs> Go on, have as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> We have someone we want you to meet. Oh! She's come to look after you. Right. 
right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, you'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr Squidgy, would you would? And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza? Uh, hamburger? Uh, chicken wings? <gasps> Chocolate fudge cake? And what don't you like? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, look, he's smiling. Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing any more of this! Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the Talk It Through teepee. And the Contemplation Kennel. <laughs> And we're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. <laughs> Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, uh, got to go. See you later, Den. And now you'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... What time, Denny Rainbow? And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. <laughs> That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> OK, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. It can, Walter. What are you doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow. I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. 
So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. you got to take a note to curl him pie face. <laughs> Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yoghurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know, if he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right. You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, He's going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Right to Walters, Jen. Because I want him everywhere. Uh, look at me. I'm Brainy. Whee! It can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and so artistic. <laughs> Walter. Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it. Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Din. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad! If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely! Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Course not, Dad. <laughs> Result! <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. <laughs> Still on a skateboard, Dennis? Shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Nasha. I can't see. I... <laughs> 
I suppose you think that's funny, do you? <laughs> I, I... Oh. oh, no! But, Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize-giving soon. Prize-giving? Yes, where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here, I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please? Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. <laughs> Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour is the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> <laughs> you never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? for you, Mrs Creature. No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, boys, I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the best behaviour prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's 
Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent. If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <clears throat> if life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <clears throat> Now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Eh? Why is the dog catcher here? <laughs> <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> <laughs> Instant. What? No, miss, please. Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now, or there's no prize. <laughs> Run, Nasha! So, I always tie a piece of string to my big turn. special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis we're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our lives and we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <laughs> oh. That's... Oh, thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. Captain Yoke of the Starship Enterprise. I have lost several crew members to a terrifying life form known as the Spoon. <gasps> What's that? It's one of them! I come in peace! No! <laughs> How many times have I told you, Dennis? Don't play with your food. You don't mind when Gran does it. I said, shut! Yes, well, she's only staying here until her foot gets better. That's right. Meanwhile, you don't mind looking after Harley, right, Dennis? Who's Harley? My hog. The pig. Sounds like fun to me. Can't wait to meet him, Gran. You will, when you go and feed him. Hey, check out my glasses! <laughs> <laughs> Fancy mistaking a hog for a hog. A what? A pig for a motorbike. Well, that's the problem with the internet. You never quite know what you're going to get. True, 
But if she decided to keep the pig, why didn't she buy a home for it? You know, a sty. She did try to build a sty. And dropped a brick on her foot. Meanwhile, the pig's running around all over the place. Ah! 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 Aha! Uh -huh. You found my spares. I wondered where they were. Ta! Right. I'm off to feed Hartley. There's some leftover cabbage in the kitchen. <laughs> what a pong! Make sure he's got clean water. Will do, Gran. Come on, boy. <laughs> All right. Stay and keep Nipper company. I'll see you in a bit. Come on, boys. Let's see if anyone's noticed that I put salt in the sugar bowl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Harley. Here's your swill. <laughs> oh, <I'm steady> on. <laughs> Whoa! All right, mate. Yeah. See you later then. Bye. Oh no! The bucket. Uh, me again, fella. <laughs> Just uh, come back to get me. Ah! That little Dennis looks at it on the floor, all up the walls and all over his face and says, Me never wanted stupid birthday cake anyway. <laughs> really? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's great. There's another one. <laughs> oh, yes. Dennis was a real handful when he was a baby. Hello, love. How's Harley? Oh, a bit lively, as you can see. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice in here. Oh, yeah. Gran made a pie. <coughs> Delicious. So, are you guys ready for band practice? Bring it on! Uh, isn't that my jacket? Yes, it's great, isn't it? Time for a break, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a break. Oh, yeah, right. Ooh. It's probably past Harley's feeding time. Eh? Oh, OK, Gran. Come on, lads. You can give me a hand with the pig. You go, Dennis. Your friends can catch up with you. Oh, all right. Uh, see you in a bit. I haven't played one of these since... Well, I've never played one of these, but it's never too late to learn. One, two, three, four! Oh, here's some fertiliser for your rhubarb. What? Well, well, thanks, Den. Wait a minute. I thought you were... Who's playing my guitar? See your foot's better. Uh, oh, uh, well, actually, it doesn't hurt when I do this. But if, oh, oh, if I just walk like this, oh, the pain. Right. I thought you two were too tired to keep on rocking. Oh, we are now. Your gran has even more energy than you do, Jen. Hmm. Let's go and read some comics. And there might be a doggy treat in it for you, too. <laughs> Gran, what are you doing? Oi! That was the last sausage! Oh, never mind. It's pretty much done. <laughs> Gran, you shouldn't make a fire in here. You could have burnt down me tree house. I don't know about that. It took me ages to get it going in the first place. I had to use all that paper there. My comics! You should buy it! My comics! You don't need comics. I'll tell you a funny bedtime story. It's not my bedtime. Is it not? Ah, oh, well. We'll have a laugh in the morning, eh? 
Morning. Dennis! Your gran says don't forget to give Harley his chewable vitamin. Oh, oh, oh. Pesky pig. Smelly swine. Pot bellied pest. No! Hi, lads. What's going on? Just tidying up. Your gran asked me to. <laughs> what are you doing, Pie Face? Running up some curtains for the treehouse. Your gran showed me how. Right, that's it. I've had enough. If anyone wants me, I'll be in my room. Doing there? I had to get away. Oh, I thought you were hanging out with Gran. I was. I love you, Gran. She's so funny, but she had me drumming for hours yesterday. I'm worn out. All this fun is starting to feel like hard work. Yeah, I know. And her foot is totally better. I think she's well enough to go home and look after Harley. But since she started hanging out with us in the treehouse, she doesn't want to leave. That's right. And I can't keep up with her and... She ate my pie. Not ya. Yes. The pie I saved for emergencies. <laughs> right. Heads together, lads. I've got a plan. I don't know why you've brought me back home. I was really happy in the treehouse. <laughs> This way, folks! <laughs> oh, wow! You built a sky for Harley! Brilliant! Uh, careful! Mind your foot! Oh, oh! Um, actually, I think it might be getting better. Thanks, Dennis. That's okay, Gran. Do you think you're going to be able to cope all right? Harley's a bit of a handful. Oh, don't worry. I'll be able to handle him. Now he's got his own place to live in. So, where is this pig, anyway? I had to ask. Clear him, please! Get off me, you stupid pig! Hey, wait a minute. I recognise that sty. Didn't it used to be my shed? Used to be, Dad. Used to be. Dennis! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad we've got the treehouse to ourselves again. Yeah! 